Olympi Novi, written by JDM, copyright 2024, all rights reserved. Our firmament constellation of the terrestrial elements, fire, air, earth, and water, must be birthed anew with the seed of life in the ground of the maiden. The semen of the Son of Heaven must impregnate the moon of the earth at the crossroad of the descending spirit of Sophia. This divine principle unites the esoteric masculine heaven with the exoteric feminine earth. Just sitting in the cosmos of the pre-existing crossroad of elements lies Emmanuel. Thus birthed, this word becomes our reality. From the seed of the heavenly father, from the womb of the earthly mother, the sun and the moon become one flesh, manifesting grace through their offspring, divine unity. The perfect will, seed of heaven, emitted into the willing womb of the earth, begets the crowned Olympi Novi, or a divine new ruling firmament. This union of heaven and earth is the true and absolute necessity for peace eternal here and now in real time. If the total rebirth of our cosmology is only intellectual, it shall be deemed a lie. It has to become actualized in reality. 99.99% of a lie that sounds like the truth is still a lie. This fact stands. Our firmament is damaged goods, which in turn thoroughly tinctures our vessel inside and out. This requires a remedy. Our elements, fire, air, earth, and water are imprisoned in the literal and figurative dungeon of our cosmic nervous system, thus influencing the powers. What are the powers? The seven rulers of our spheres are firmament, rather, that which rules us. The powers that sit upon the throne determine the grain of the mill. Is it plenty? Perhaps. Is it famine? Naturally. The powers thrive upon slavery. That which is in bondage shall remain in bondage until a remedy is introduced. Is there a remedy? Indeed. This is the formula. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. 10 is the seed of regeneration. The seed requires a willing vessel. This willing vessel is the womb of the maiden. We are that womb. We are the powers. We are the intelligences. We are the elements. We are not the alchemist. We are the alchemy the willing and available substance suitable for the work of intimate integrity. Intimate integrity is the seed of grace. The womb must be willing. The grace semen of the heavenly sun is only received willingly by the maiden of the terrestrial moon via love. Anything but willing love is force. We must grant permission for the great work to begin. How is this done? Mind, breath, and word. Start at the door of interior divinity, knock, and cross the threshold of the abyss. What does that mean? Say, Genetheto to, Talema soy, O Signoranos kai hepi geyes. Quote, Not my will, but thy will be done on earth, my bound constellation, as it is in heaven. Perfect constellation. This humble relinquishing of thy will must happen for the great work to begin. St. Augustine says, quote, What does it avail me that this birth is always happening if it does not happen in me? That it should happen in me is what matters, unquote. Let us begin with one. What is one? One is nothing other than unity repeated. The source and origin contains all numbers within itself. What is two? Two is two ones. Two is called birth. Two is communion. What is three? Three is the first uncomposed number. The number of perfection. 
three is harmony, a whole octave, a perfect fifth, and a fourth. What is four? Four is the root and foundation of all other numbers. It is the door of being, nature, life, and perception. Now pay attention. Let us enter that door. <clears throat> Inherent in number one through four abides the power of addition. One is one one, two is two ones, three is three ones, four is four ones. All is one. This must be known. This gnosis is the silver mercy of salvation. One plus two plus three plus four equals ten. Ten is one. There is no addition after 10. All that proceeds is multiples of 10s. This, our seed of 10, must multiply by the one of its perfect will. Herein, the truth of love abides in one perfect will, no more, no less. All of this rhetoric must be more than mere fanciful metaphysics. It must have practical application for our tangible reality, but it cannot be accomplished by our current constellation. Our alchemical elements can be destroyed, dissolved, coagulated, etc., etc. But our elemental fire cannot eradicate our divine firmaments. Rebirth can only be obtained by the perfect will immaculately conceived in our willing terrestrial firmament. In other words, the word must become our word. My will accomplishes nothing save my own destruction. Now, let's start the practical application of Olympian Novi, aka the new firmament. Thus saith the true power of one, quote, you act below and I will act above. This is the domain of awe, humility, and faith. What is awe? The honesty of thy inadequacy is the beginning of Sophia. What is humility? Not my will, but thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What is faith? A tiny mustard seed. The 0.14 of 3.14. With awe and humility grasp thy tiny mustard seed of faith. You have thus qualified as fertile ground. Now heed this. Some may call the next section magic. The adept dubs it medicine. Thus begins the operation of Olympi Novi. Number one, procure seven mustard seeds, one for each roar of thy power. Field dirts. This is Eckhart's Grunt. A vessel because that thou art. A silver coin. Why a silver coin? This is the chesed mercy of salvation. This is the release from the firmament of judgment and bondage. Two. On an auspicious waxing moon, i.e. receptive female principle, respectfully bury the mustard seed into the esoteric dirt slash ground slash azult located within the exoteric vessel slash womb slash grail. Three, place the silver coin into the midst of the seven rulers. Four, seal the vessel and inscribe on the top and sides the secret of faith in me. Now conclude by saying... Quote, not my will, but thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Unquote. The addition of mercy to faith immaculately conceives unified multiplication. The final stage is accomplished by being still and waiting on love. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Why am I doing this? Because thy pre-existing firmament is a yoke of slavery and you desire the joy of freedom. Joy? 
the joy of perfect will accomplished. Totally. Here, now, and forevermore. And these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. May we abide in the true communion of the new firmament, the constellation of man, divine, both now and forevermore. Amen. This is the magnum opus of the Sophia. Thus ends Olympi Novi, written by JDM, copyright 2024.